what is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be going through my very first ever action figure setup um, I talked to Bretto live he hit me up in my live stream and he said to do an action figure setup and I was like you know I don't want to copy your style and he um, I talked to him in the DMs and he said it was cool and you know whatever he's a really awesome guy so guys go check out Bretto Live's channel subscribe to his channel there's a link in the description below go check him out very awesome guy one of the most successful uh, WWE action figure channels on YouTube so definitely check him out and shout out to him um, for the idea of this video but this is our first ever action figure setup WWE action figure setup um, all around the arena here I have a bunch of figures set up and for this one I wanted to have a specific theme and the theme for this one is finishing moves so what I did was just thought of you know probably the top 12 or 15 finishing moves in my opinion that just came to my head um, some are current some are older but um, I just wanted to take you guys through each individual one and we will go all the way through them until we get to the end so let's go ahead and get straight into them. Alright guys so starting it out on the stage right here the first one we have is Triple H delivering a pedigree to Kofi Kingston. It was sort of hard getting him in the post to do the pedigree so I figured I would go ahead and do it where he's actually you know connecting Kofi's face to the stage right there so I went ahead and did that one and next up right beside him we have Randy Orton delivering the RKO to Seth Rollins in mid motion right there which is a very awesome finishing maneuver one of my favorite finishing moves if not my favorite of all time and then just behind them we have Shawn Michaels delivering a sweet chin music to Batista right there probably sending him into the crowd behind him there and as we move up the ramp here you will see the Rock giving William Regal a rock bottom right there on the stage way. Um, coming on down, you have Stone Cold delivering a Stone Cold Stunner to The Rock right as you step off of the ramp getting to the ring. Just behind him you have The Undertaker delivering a p Tombstone t pile driver to Victor. Sort of an odd couple right there but um, I just saw Victor felt I'd job him out to Taker. So there he is delivering the Tombstone Pile Driver. Up right here we have Chris Jericho delivering the Walls of Jericho to the Miz. Right there I like that pose a lot. Dig that ringside exclusive GameStop exclusive Chris Jericho. Then right here we have AJ Styles jumping off the barricade and delivering a phenomenal forearm to Heath Slater. And then as we step up into the ring right here we have Luke Harper getting destroyed by Sami Zayn with a Haluva kick. Coming down here you have a Beautiful Neville custom by BEW Animations giving the rings of Saturn to Austin Aries. Uh, Austin Aries, as you know, no longer with WWE, but he can still get jobbed out to Neville right here in MDT. Right here, as you see, we have The Miz delivering a skull-crushing finale to Daniel Bryan. And then just behind him, we have The Club delivering a magic killer to Jay Uso. And just behind there, you will see a brogue kick from Sheamus to Goldust. And if you notice, Sheamus looks like a ghost, like he does during his entrance because of this white light uh, lighting. And then just behind Sammy, you have Samoa Joe giving the Kukita Clutch to Cesaro. And just behind that, you have Roman Reigns delivering a spear to Bo Dallas. And then coming over here into the announce area you have John Cena delivering an FU or an AA to ride back through the table just behind that you have Brock Lesnar delivering an F5 to Tyson Kidd and then just behind that you have Kevin Owens delivering a power bomb to Zack Ryder through the announce table and that pretty much does it for the entire setup Alright guys, that is going to do it for my first ever WWE action figure setup. I plan on doing more of these, probably with different themes, different uh, WWE superstars, and stuff like that. So if you guys have a recommendation for an action figure setup, please let me know in the comment section below. Again, shout out to Bretto Live for this idea and for the right to uh, use his video idea. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.